All right, everyone, this is crazy. You won't believe where we are. So we are here in what's called Treasure Island. That's literally the name, Treasure Island. It's a part of like um, Clearwater. And I can see, you might not be able to see, but I can see the beach. I don't know where my finger is. Right here, right over there. See the beach, the water. This place is right on the freaking water. Like literally if I drove straight, boom, we'd be in the water. I don't have a boat though, so we're not gonna do that. But uh, yeah, so. Let's get to the restaurant, eat some oysters, and I'll tell you all what's going on. All right, everybody, so we made it. We made it down here, guys. All right on the beach to Caddy's. Super cool. Like, literally, this is the beach right there. This is freaking awesome. So anyway, it is an oyster challenge, everybody. I got the exact details. Um, being a, uh, so I, we gotta like basically set the bar. So the bottom bar, we can't go any higher, is currently 60 oysters, okay, in 15 minutes. So I'll get you some more info, but that's kind of the gist of it. But I'm probably going to, I mean, I don't know. I, I might just throw on a tank top. It's a little, it was sunny here a minute ago, but I'll go further that. Let's go have some fun. All right, everybody, so here we are with all the oysters. Absolutely insane. So like we said, five dozen, that is 60 oysters. Like I said, the crazy thing is just how little time we have to do all this, but I am definitely really excited. We are hoping to get this plate of oysters for free. Um, but yeah, I guess I've learned a lot about this place, like just asking questions, because literally it's on the beach. I'll show you what I'm literally looking at right now. Absolutely insane, gorgeous here. And this is where people come, like from Tampa, the surrounding areas, all the communities, tourists from all around, just to come sit on the beach, have a famous beer, cocktail. Apparently they have live music every night. They have brunch buffets on the weekend. Too bad it's not a weekend, I'll be visiting them tomorrow. But yeah, so definitely cool. Um, I'm also gonna get some accompaniments. I know they got some different like sauces, some maybe cocktail sauce and get some lemons and get some hot sauce, all that good stuff. But yeah, like we said guys, only 15 minutes, it's pretty crazy. So um, we'll get started here, just momentarily. Woo, all right everybody, so I think I got everything. These are oysters looking pretty good. I got some of their house-made cocktail sauce, right? Damn, and some of their salsa. This looks great, I asked for the salsa. What's in it? Tomato, obviously. Tomatoes, uh, jalapenos, onions. Ooh. Flavorful. They also gave me some Tabasco. I also have some Cholula. And I also have some lemons here, which, can I dress them before I start? Yeah. All right, let me dress before I start because that being said, it's gonna, gonna have to go pretty quick, but I mean, I, I, like, I, like, I like lemon on oysters. There's lemon's a nice addition. You know, maybe I'll lemon all these ones up here. Maybe I'll do some, uh, cocktail and on these middle ones we'll do a little bit of both we have all the flavors everybody all the flavors i'll leave these ones no lemon maybe i'll grab uh yeah some well let me try the sauce first delicious all right and the cocktail sauce Woo! you got a nice zip i do like me some horseradish let me know what you like on your oysters down below um all right i'll put some of this on a couple and then I'll just kind of continue to add as I go. But that tastes delicious. All right. Uh, at that, though, I think I'm about ready to get rocking. Better open up these hot sauces, too. We definitely want those accessible. I do like me some hot sauce on my oysters. Although, I mean, hey, hot sauce on a hot day by a beautiful beach i ain't complaining i'll tell you that much shout out florida guys shout out like florida is damn beautiful this whole area is just so gorgeous if you've never been down here you need to come it's called treasure island for a reason like think about that all right but that i think i'm ready to get rocking i'm gonna try to use a fork to start and uh we'll see how long that actually lasts you guys good to get started then yeah all right so i'll happily say maybe the count of like Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. All right. Mm. Nice taste of oyster. Delicate. That one's a little stuck. Yeah, I mean, guys, how can you complain? Mm. Nice and definitely, a, you can tell it is fresh. It has not been sitting around. Oysters should taste like the sea, not like old seafood. 
So, definitely tastes good. Right. I will say though, I'm diving in already, all right? Listen, I wanna try some of this freaking, I wanna try some of these sauces while here. I'll try this one right here. This is a great big fat one, some cocktail sauce on it. Oh yeah. Try some of this uh, salsa. Mm. Oh man. I know people normally do that, but the salsa and the oyster is a good call. Mm. Very nice. Great flavor. Let me add a little, add a little lemon up here. While we can. I like the lemon. Lemon's a nice addition. I don't like lemon on a lot of seafood, but oysters is great. Hey everyone, welcome to Zoo and welcome to a challenge I was super excited about, my first official oyster challenge. So I've done an oyster record challenge before, but never a straight up oyster challenge. And what a better place to have than right on the coast of Florida. That is a lot of oyster. I agree. I'm sure the standard person doesn't order 5,000. That's about two minutes, guys. Continue on this track. Mm. Oh, man. Do you guys have just like horseradish? Yeah, good side. I'd love some. Yeah, give me a very great big side of it. That's nothing I love. I'm a horseradish fan. I didn't think about that at the start. Oh yeah. All right. Well, I don't know how many we are through everybody, but we're slowly but surely making our way. There's a whack of oysters here. Oysters for some people are really hit or miss though. Like some people, they won't touch them. Well, you like them? You love them. That's my flavor, yeah. yeah. I think that's like, uh, oyster or food you love or hate. So here we are at the original location of Caddy's, which we talk about the history of the place in this video, so we won't get into it too much, but a very cool place, restaurant slash, well, bar, all the above, that has been a staple in the Clearwater area for a very long time. Thank you. And your uncle's there. <laughs> First red -ish. I like spicy orange rice. Let's see how it is. I just ate a spoonful of horseradish. Tastes good though. So for this challenge, we only had 15 minutes in order to eat the whole 60 oysters. Yes, that's five dozen oysters in order to get them for free. Um, this was definitely a bit of a difficult challenge or it's a bit of a technique. It's kind of, uh, it's not like a food you can just shove in your mouth. I mean, they're all on shells. You kind of have to like delicately slash fondle them, figure them, and yeah, you get the picture. Um, that being said, they did have some hot sauces and horseradish and cocktail sauce, even the salsa, which was made for their tacos, but was delicious anyway, so I had that all over everything. I mean, I gotta eat these quick, a little unfortunate, but the freaking view here is damn, I mean, I see why people come. What a cool place to hang out. Guys, I'm gonna come back casually. Come on, casually and check this place out one day. What's uh, what's like the must? Like what are the what are the what are the, what are the, you know what are the favorites? Drinks and foods and stuff. So everyone loves our rum runners. Rum uh, runners? What's yeah. that? Rum runner, a, a mixture of different uh, silver and dark rums, some of our juices. Um, we also have lots of frozen drinks, pina coladas, strawberry daiquiris, Miami Vice. Um, so we're pretty pretty well known for that. I mean, we are in Florida after all, Miami Vice, right? Um, okay. Beautiful. beautiful uh, have a frozen drink yeah, really. Huh? Bottomless mimosas for our breakfast. Bottomless mimosas. That just sounds dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In probably the most fun way possible. Yeah. There you go. Not bad. You can get all of our cocktails in a 32 ounce bucket that you can make a sandcastle with afterwards. 32 ounces? Mm -hmm. Man. I mean, Florida's a big state. That's a big cocktail. 
yourself a cabana for today. You get bottle service out there. Nice catering menu. Spend the whole day with your family or friends. You have cabanas? We do. Really? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, so we have uh, double cabanas, which fit up to 25 people, and our singles are about 10 to 15. Oh my god. Um, we've got quite a few of them. We book them out three times a day. Uh, breakfast cabanas, our day shift is most popular. Uh, and then we have sunset cabanas also for a little bit of nighttime. Five bars. So can you just like move in here? <laughs> you can live on the beach. You have everything you need. Jeez Louise. Like, almost accommodation, food. Yeah. We do a lot of fun stuff in the mornings too. We do yoga in the morning sometimes. What? Yeah. Orange Theory will come yeah, out and do work some classes. workout classes. Damn. Yeah, we've got festivals for the kids. We just did a fall festival. Halloween costumes. Yeah. Yeah, this sounds a lot less like a restaurant. More like a... Get away. Yeah. It's a big party. That's cool. Yeah. I like it. Take note, everybody. Take note. Mm. On a side note, <laughs> delicious. Guys, that horseradish, a little bit of hot sauce. Damn good. What is just so hard to fathom is just having, like, restaurants and bars like this right on the beach like that's just something i just didn't grow up with that's something i don't see in a lot of places and it was awesome thank you seven minutes everybody so if you're ever in the area i would 100 percent recommend stopping by and like checking this place out even just you like literally go to the venue just go there and look at it they have such a amazing view of the water it just it's hard to believe it's in america like i feel like it should be in a top tourist destination around the world and well technically clear water is i was like i i and you guys this is not like this is honestly just me speaking the truth the staff are super friendly here. like the, the, everybody yeah, is we've got a good group of people yeah. that work for us and our whole company um, a lot of them have been here for years 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 so uh, it's nice that we're able to hold well, on you to well you said this restaurant's been here for years right yeah yep this is the flagship store we have five caddies in total yeah and whether you want to call it Treasure Island or Clearwater, etc., I'm kind of calling them both. It's in the same area, but truly a amazing destination. I see why people love it, the scenery, etc. Um, but that's pretty much the majority of the info. Like I said, we're trying to get the uh, Big Tray Oysters for free, the challenge, and uh, become the first to actually beat it at the starting point of five dozen. So with that, let's tune in and see what happens. <coughs> Eat your oysters. Don't inhale them. Ugh. Wrong hole. Wrong hole. That's not what she said. Alright. Okay, everybody, I think we're down to a couple left. Woo! That was definitely a heck of a lot of oysters. Eating a whole container of horseradish was not required, but very delicious to do so. Cocktail sauce is pretty nice, nice and sweet. Just finding the last ones here. In the graveyard of shells. Not bones, shells, I guess it's probably. Yeah. Right, is that the last one that you guys see? Oh no, I got one here. Is there? Okay. They have the better perspective. The oysters are facing them. Can't really see too well. But let's find out. Whew. I just want to make sure you eat every single last one. That's right. One here, one here. Two on your right. Cool. Thank you for the help. Welcome. Trust me, I haven't had anything to drink. It's not that I'm drunk, is why I can't see them. It's this beautiful sunshine beach. Yeah, you know what? I was saying, I think my favorite combo is that hot sauce with Tabasco and uh, oh, sorry. but this salsa is surprisingly good. Again, not people don't normally put in oysters, but I think we'll go to everything. 
All right, am I missing any? I think you got them all. Got them all? Yeah. All right, there we go, guys. I think just over 10 minutes, something like that. About 10, 1040 if we count there. 1042. 1042, guys. So definitely a lot of oysters. Delicious oysters, delicious horseradish. But man, that was uh, well, that was pleasant. I tell you what, I one time this is technically my first kind of oyster challenge I've ever done. One time did an oyster record, and that was so many oysters, and I didn't feel very good afterwards. But this, I feel good. It's not often I'm like I feel pretty damn good. I feel pretty damn good. That's the nice thing about oysters being you know kind of lighter, not like. You know, I don't know, deep fried, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, you know, I like this. This is this is the vibe I needed. You know, I needed some fresh oysters sitting on a freaking beach. This is crazy. Like, I, again, I'm, I'm from somewhere which is not half as nice and gorgeous and beachy as this. And, like, just to, like, guys, you just, you have to come check this place out. Like, it is just so hard to... Imagine, like I'm, I'm literally eating on a beach. This is insane. I could literally throw a rock and it'd be in the water. So, yeah, super cool place, guys. But huge thanks to Caddies and thank you guys. Thank you. Like I said, staff here have been super, super cool. Um, I mean, normally I'd say compliments to the chef. I don't think I really compliment the chef per se. More of, I guess, like compliment the animals. Which, by the way, we do eat animals. JoelEats.com. Um, but yeah, comments everybody here for the. Lovely sauces, the hospitality, and uh, to caddies, you know. So that when we are able to get the uh, the platter for fruit, it's pretty dope. And um, that's about that. So yeah, guys, there you go. Somebody finally beat it. Yeah. So till next time, buddy. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, like I said, cool place. Definitely recommend it. And uh, till next time, say happy, hungry, happy eating. And with that, have a good day. everybody the time has come not for me to shave my head for you to subscribe so click my face right here subscribe click one of these two videos i picked just for you and exciting news we also have a new channel so if you want to watch challenges raw uncut so you get to hear what the audience says hear my real thoughts opinions noises etc link down below joel hansen raw so check that out appreciate y'all until next time well i'll see you in a minute click one of these videos